Shalom everybody, hope you're doing well, hope your week was great, powerful, meaningful, beautiful and safe. Uh, we're entering into Shabbat Parshat Bamidbar in the desert, and uh, right from there, right into the holiday of the Chag of Shavuot. And a quick little thought about Shavuot, about this idea of receiving the Torah. And it's one of those things you can talk about for a million years, like what is the Torah, what does it mean that we're receiving the Torah, what are we supposed to do with the Torah, what does it all mean? Something that strikes me when we, when we daven, when we pray on Chag Shavuot, is we call Shavuot Zman Matan Torah Tenu, right? The time of the giving of our Torah, right? And it strikes me sometimes, I'm thinking like, well, why is it, is it, doesn't it say Zman Matan Torah Techa? Why doesn't it say the, the time of the giving of your Torah? Right? Because something was transferred to us. God gave us, the Jewish people, the Torah. But we call it our Torah. And... Connected to that idea is the following thought. It says in the Gemara, it says that B'Shabbat Nitznah Torah, that on Shabbat the Torah was given. The original Shavuot, when the Torah was actually given on Har Sinai, all the Jewish people standing around the mountain and witnessing this incredible event. Right? So the Gemara says that the tradition is that that day was Shabbos, that the day that the Torah was given to the Jewish people and brought into this world, there was Shabbat. Right. Many ideas and thoughts connected to that, but one question I think also comes up is the following. We learned that on Shabbat, we're not supposed to give anything to anybody else. We're not supposed to give something as a, as a gift to another person. We're not supposed to transfer ownership from one person to another. And before Shabbat, after Shabbat, it's fine, but on Shabbat, it's one of those things we don't do. We don't transfer ownership. So I'm thinking, how could it be that on Shabbat, on some level the very first Shabbat, right, that the Jewish people really became a nation with the Torah as its guide, that God was transferring ownership of the Torah from God's realm to the realm of the Jewish people, to the realm of Am Yisrael. That's transfer of ownership. So then I was thinking, but we learn in the, in the laws of Shabbat, that if you give somebody something on Shabbat, but you already kind of made it theirs before Shabbat, it's kind of like a little technical aspect of the laws of Shabbat, but if you already kind of like had in mind, you even did something that made it theirs before, and you just gave, you just did the actual giving, the physical giving, the physical transfer of ownership on Shabbat, so it's totally fine. Because it was already there exactly before Shabbat even began. And I think in, with that, and in that there's a really deep teaching here, the Chalk Shavuot, and understanding what the Torah is all about. That... Hashem, God gave us the Torah on Shabbat, but it was already ours. It was just the physical, the actual, the ceremonial, the actual giving of the Torah that took place on that day, that day which was Shabbat, but it was already ours from before. Zman matan Torah tenu. It was already ours. God was giving us a Torah that was already ours. How was it already ours? When was it already ours? We learn from many sources, including the Zohar, that God looked into the Torah and created the world. Let me say that again. God looked into the Torah and created the world. Hmm. How do we deal with that one? Right? Because we think of the Torah being a document of some sort, a, a text, a source that was given at a certain moment in time. But the Zohar understands it on a much deeper level, and on the deepest level, that the Torah is actually the blueprint for creation. That it pre-existed the world. It was... The law, so to speak, it was the manner in which and through which the world was created. The Torah is everywhere. The Torah was used to create the world, and the world has embedded in it the Torah. So even before the Torah was actually given on that first Shavuot to the Jewish people standing in that desert called Sinai, at that mountain called Sinai, the Torah was already here. On some level, we were only given that Torah because we forgot as a Jewish people, but also as an entire humanity, as an entire world, how to read the Torah, how to learn the Torah from the world all around us. Right? The world is embedded with the Torah. The Torah is everywhere all around us. And in that sense, we're able to access the Torah in all places, at all times. The fact that the Torah was given outside the land of Israel is a really powerful thing. Here, like this humong humongous Chag, the, the Torah is given to the Jewish people. The Torah and the Jewish people in the land of Israel are all intricately, intricately uh, intertwined. Yet the Torah was given, us, given to us outside the land. Right? 
maybe on level, we'll never to teach us this idea that the Torah exists everywhere. The Torah, yes, is powerful, is maybe even the most powerful inside the land of Israel, but it's to be found everywhere. And to show us as, as that the aspect of Eretz Israel, the, the aspect of a land that could be so holy and so pure, actually exists everywhere. So many more thoughts to think and to share and to tell about Shavuot, but I think we'll leave it at that. The sun is setting here in the beautiful land of Israel. I wish everyone a beautiful Shabbat Shalom. Chag Sameach to receive the Torah all over again at this Shavuot. Every single year the world is, rec- is receiving a new Torah. We are receiving a new Torah. We are different. Every single time we get to the Chag of Shavuot, we're different people at different points in our lives right, with different lessons to learn. We might be learning the same exact text, but it's telling us something different. It's telling us a different story. We're approaching it, and it's approaching us in a whole new way, a way that's never been seen before, and a way that will never be seen before. So wishing everyone much love, much safety and peace. Chag Sameach, Shabbat Shalom.